Hey y'all. Welcome back to the cabin. And today? It's a work day. Ooh. <laughs> So um, today, we've got to go get a new round bell for Lily. Yeah, we're going to get a round bell. We're going to put it back in the back pasture because I want to get her off this front pasture. I got some work I got to do on that. Try to go under. Yeah, it's it's time. It's got to be drug, and we got to yeah. uh, scatter some compost. Actually, the compost that that was the horse manure compost, we're going to use that to right. fertilize the front pasture. Right. Well, I'm gonna go out there and what's already on the pasture, what mm -hmm. she's put out there. Scatter. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna mm -hmm. take the box blade and scatter that. And uh, then we'll take... Scatter the compost. Scatter, scatter the scatter compost. The compost. And then she goes in the back for a little while. Probably about a month. Yep. Uh, when when it rains, we get another rain. After I scatter, we get another rain. And then I'll take the drag, not the box blade, and put the drag on it. And then it'll be ready to go to work. One thing I noticed, too, is that there's a lot of bahia seed in that uh, trash hay. Yeah. And that'll also spread more bahia seed out there. And we're going to give that a we'll chance. We'll spread that, and that'll, that'll put that seed out there and then when it gets what 85 degrees yeah bahia in mm -hmm. here in the south bahia is a, in the deep south is a primary pasture grass one of your primary pasture grasses and uh, it will not germinate before the temperature is a consistent 85 degrees so right. that'll be and, and well it'll be here before you know it <laughs> well the seed will be out there yeah, it'll be it'll out be out there, there waiting on it you know mm -hmm. if, if we take and scatter that Yep. And that'll just sling them seeds all over the pasture, and then when it gets 85 degrees, mm -hmm. that'll start. Uh, yeah, you know, start with that. So, what you got in mind for today? Well, you know my herb garden. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs a fence around it. We've been using that uh, temporary fence, and that's really hard to deal with as a permanent solution. So, I was thinking I might uh, get a little help out there. Let's get in the well, fence. You know, up. I like that temporary fence. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it's, it serves a purpose, but it's temporary for a reason. So, so. what are you wanting up there? We need, well, you know, we had talked about horse panel, the two by four squares, but it is panel, so it's stiff. Yeah. And um, I'm thinking we got... We can go on the front side. We can go from the tractor shed over to the chicken house, and then in the back, that way we don't have to go all the way around it. We'll go from the tractor shed to the chicken house. Right. Uh -huh. And just use the tractor shed on one side and the mm -hmm. chicken house on the other mm -hmm. side. Yeah. And we'll just have to fence them, too. Yeah. Yeah, and I think yeah. um, that's um, that's something that we can get done pretty quick. You reckon? So, yeah, <laughs> I'm ready. Uh -huh. I need it. Mm -hmm. Okay.
One other thing that uh, we want to try to get done today, or the next few days anyway, is it's about time for the bees to swarm. Yes, yeah, it is getting swarm season, uh, and I uh, feel like that this hive, uh, we lost hives to hive beetles, uh, I'm sorry, wax moths, uh, last year because we're still novice beekeepers and we're learning but we've got a very strong hive and we've got a hive out there it's but it's strong. getting time for them to swarm yeah. and if they split we need to have something out there ready to uh, we're gonna try to lure them to yep. another hive but if the hive's not out there they're not going to go right. to it so we need to get that set we'll up. put us one out there and when they split if they come to it we've got us a, a another beehive right if they don't then we'll get us some more bees we'll, we'll get some more bees mm -hmm. but what what i did one time was i tried to bait a hive an empty hive for during swarm season which you can do that but i overdid it you I overdid it, it, it was too bit, strong yeah. mm -hmm. so we're gonna bait this one very very lightly what are you baiting it with uh lemongrass essential oil is uh even the commercial beekeepers they sell something that has lemongrass essential oil in it. And so we're going to go very, very sparing with it this time and see if we can't lure a, a hive. How are you going to put it in there? I'm going to put just a drop on a Q-tip, and I'm just going to kind of rub it in a few places inside the hive. Right. We'll take and we'll put the brood box down, and we'll stick one super on top of it mm -hmm. in, case, in case we catch the swarm. If we don't right. catch the swarm, then we'll take You'd the blue box off. And go get a box go, of beads. Go buy yeah. some box of beads. Our and, Amish, and, uh, we'll go to probably up to our Amish community. Mm -hmm. and We and, take uh, our box up there, and they put a, a, a frame of bees in it Yeah, that, with a queen on it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring it back. And, and then we'll bring it up. back, and they, they build out, and they do wonderful. So. Well, I'm going to tell you something. We ain't going to get in there a bit of that done unless we get up off this swing. That's right. <laughs> so we're fixing to go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. So, we're done it's been a day it has been. <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> me too we've done too. some work we, since we, we talked we last busy. and even cody got in on a little bit yeah, of it yeah, yeah we 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 uh, lassoed him for a little bit yeah, he come beach. home for the weekend mm -hmm. he's home from work for the weekend and uh he's he's the one that started out with bees around here so we were like Help us set up a hive, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we did that. But. And he, he knows a good bit about he it. He does. He knows more than I do. I, you yeah, know, I, he does. He's kind of uh, busy now, and he's not as... His interests have uh, gone in a different direction. He still loves them, but he's not really wanting to be a beekeeper right now at this point. But uh, right. we glean information from him, and he loves to share it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and speaking We got the field it, done. Yeah. Yeah, we got the field done. The field looks good. Got your fence done? Yeah, we did. You like it? I like it. Yep, sure do. It, it serves its purpose. It'll keep what the is chickens its purpose? out. Well, to keep the chickens out because one thing about uh, having the chickens, I like to let them free range during the day because they eat a lot of bugs, which is a lot of protein, which makes a healthier egg for us to eat. And plus, mm -hmm. it keeps them happy mentally to be able to get out and do what they like to do. So, uh, they hit that uh, big old compost pile out there and yeah. found them some big old yeah. grubs in there. And they was mm -hmm. having a the time. They was loving that. They helped you mm -hmm. scatter that, didn't they? Yeah. yeah so, mm -hmm. Well, yeah. that about wind her up. It does. What's the supper? Does. Um, I hadn't decided yet. <laughs> I hadn't decided yet. When it's all said and done at the end of the day, one of the most important things we want to remember is where our blessings come from. Where our blessings come from. Don't ever forget that your Heavenly Father loves you. And we'll see you on the next video. God bless. Bye.